This is the Gateron Bubblegum Linear Switch, and let's just get it out of the way. This thing is a banger. They have an eye-catching colorway with a polished blue stem, purple nylon top housing, and a slightly opaque ink bottom housing from the ink series of switches. They've got a 63.5 gram spring. They're a five pin switch and they benefit from films slightly with a slight sound increase in my opinion, but definitely not needed. I paid 97 Australian cents per switch, or you can get them for about 70 cents US per switch. I believe they had a limited-ish group buy and in stock drop, but you can still pick them up from some vendors such as all caps. I'm not affiliated with all caps in any way, that's just where I happen to get the switches from. Here is a stock sound test of the switch. Unlubed, these things feel pretty amazing. Seriously, <laughs> this thing feels like a lubed linear, but it's completely unlubed. Nothing from the factory, no lube, completely unlubed. The only thing that is there is the polished stem, and that must be what is creating the smoothness because these things are seriously smooth. They won't be as smooth as something like the Tangies or Epsilons, but the performance is in a similar ballpark and still impressive nonetheless. The only thing stopping me from recommending using these switches completely stock is that there's a fair amount of spring ping, which is pretty disappointing as the amazing stock feel of the switch is just let down by the stock sound due to the spring ping. Although it wasn't very noticeable in actual use, it's still there. Overall, I'd say the stock sound is on the deeper side, but fairly neutral, not being overly thocky or clacky. I think if you're in the custom keyboard scene, you should be lubing all your switches to get that max possible performance in terms of sound and feel. You don't have to film all your switches, but in this case I did because I found that it tightened up the sound a bit, and by that I just mean it got rid of some random high-pitched clack sounds and made it more, uh, it sort of tightened the sound and, and compressed the sound spectrum, let's say. I think you could just get away with bag lubing some springs, popping them back into the switch, and you would have a fairly decent experience. Obviously not the best possible, but I think it would still be very smooth, and if you don't like that deeper sound that Crytox 205 or other lubes generally tend to give, then this might be a good option for you. Stem wobble is uh, moderate, especially in the north-south directions, but in the east-west there's essentially none. I found filming didn't improve the wobble too much. Again, if you want max performance, film these, but there is an element of diminishing returns here. And with that out of the way, let's get into a full sound test. These switches are seriously impressive for an unlooped switch, having a nice sound signature and a usable stock, but become much better with mods. Thanks for watching my first switch review, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.